Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I am Kishal. I hope you all are doing well. So placement session is here in almost all the IITs. The on-campus placement for B.Tech, M.Tech students will be starting up next week. That means in the first week of December in all the IITs, they are conducting their placement session. But in IIC Bangalore, as you know, that they typically conduct their placement a bit earlier. And this year also around mid of October, they have started their placement session. Now, how will the placement happen in IIC Bangalore? And a shocking update is that not even 50% student got placed in many departments in ISC Bangalore so far. That means one and a half month of placement is done, but still 50% of students in many departments are not placed. And also news are coming up that, you know, there is not sufficient number of AI jobs people are getting there. The MTech students in ISC Bangalore in many departments, they are not getting sufficient amount of AI jobs. So what is the update about ISC placement this year? That will be the content of this video. So I'll be talking about that how many rounds of placement in ISC has done, uh, what are the companies that has visited the campus, what is the statistics of different departments, how many students got placed and how many is yet to be placed, what are the package that is being offered and finally I'll talk about that what is the problem there, why people are not getting placed even after doing one and a half month of placement session in ISC Bangalore. So the overall idea I'll be giving you, this is not a placement statistics video because you know the placement is not yet done so I can't give you the whole placement statistics video but till that what is the update about placement in ISC Bangalore that will be the content end of this video. I hope this will be helpful for all the students who are planning to join ISC Bangalore next year because this will guide them to decide carefully whether they should go for ISC Bangalore or other IITs. So yeah, that is the content of this video. So if you want to know detail about it, please stay tuned in this video till end. And before starting the video, as I always say that if you are new to this particular channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly. And if you have liked this particular video, don't forget to hit the like button. Without further delay, let's get started into today's video. So I've talked to many students from ISC Bangalore, the MTech students who is doing their MTech in different departments in ISC Bangalore. And whatever information I gathered, by talking with them, I will be sharing in this video. The first question is how many rounds of placement that has been already conducted so far in ISC Bangalore. The information I am getting that there are first two rounds was there, the first round and second round. And since then there are sequential round is going on. Now, what is the difference between the first round, second round and sequential round? So typically, which of the companies they are paying more, their base salary and average salary is more, they comes in the first round. Then, you know, who is not paying that much, maybe average, base and, uh, you know, CTC they are giving, they are typically called for the second round. And uh, what we used to see in our time that within these two rounds, most of the MTech students used to get placed. But nowadays what's happening is that not even 10 to 20% people are getting placed after two rounds of interview or two rounds of placement session. So that's why a new round has been introduced by ISC Bangalore that is called sequential round. That means, you know, there is no order or something is maintained. In first and second round, the, 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 the uh, you know, pattern is that, you know, first round company will come, they will take the interview, they will announce the result. Then only, you know, remaining students will go for second round. They are again, they will appear for the written test interview, their result will be up. And this is how it's happened. But in sequential now, it's like randomly company will come, which whenever the company will come, they will conduct the interview and 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 they will they will select so there is no order you know even today if some company is coming they have taken interview and tomorrow maybe some other company is coming isc will not wait for the first company to release their uh, results so they will allow all the students to go for the second company so that's why it's sequential long that means you know whenever the company is coming all the remaining students they can appear for it so these are the you know prime three rounds that is happened that has happened first and second round is already done i think that is done uh, by october and since the whole this whole november month the sequence sequence of rounds are going on so that is number one thing the second is now i'll be talking about that which what is the statistics of different departments and how is the scenario in different departments in terms of placement in computer science and automation or csa department uh, there are 12 74 students seven four students appear for placement session on on campus placement session this year out of 74 students it's very shocking only 27 students got placed so far and the more shocking news is among these 27 students 13 was pre-placement offer that means 13 student has done their internship in some companies and they got an offer before the placement has started so you know in actually there are 13 students sorry 14 students who got placement in on-campus placement session 
and the overall if you see only 36 percent students that means 27 out of 74 uh, 34 percent students in CSE department got placed and this is a horrible news this is a very shocking news that even after do, you know doing placement session for one and a half months only 36 percent students from CSE department got placed now coming to AI departments, uh, out of 54 students, so there are 54 students appeared for placement in ISC Bangalore this year from AI department. Uh, only 23 got placed so far and one was there from a, who got a PPO offer. So the, if, again, if you, if you calculate the percentage, the placement rate is 42%. So this is also not even 50%. And whatever news I'm getting from CDS department as well, they are also not half of the students is placed so far. I don't have the exact detail, but not even half of the students are uh, placed so far, even from the CDS department. So these are the three primary departments uh, from, from AI domain uh, in ISC Bangalore, CSA, AI, and CDS. And the scenario is really, really shocking and really, really horrible that none of them has achieved 50% placement, placement rate so far and people are literally struggling to get a company or get an offer uh, from different uh, product-based companies in these departments. However, there are some departments who has performed exceptionally well in the on-campus placement in ISC Bangalore. For example, electrical department has done really well and they are fully placed. All the MTech students from electrical department, whatever news I am getting, they are fully placed. And VLSI department also, they are, their placement is also nearly complete. I think five, six students are left, but the rest all got placed in ISC. I see Bangalore from VLSA department and whatever news I am getting from the internal sources that uh, the, the areas related to electronics is doing really well. Now, the highest package also got, uh, highest package that ISC got this year is also from uh, civil department and biotechnology or bioengineering department. So, one girl from civil department and one guy from biotechnology department got an offer from Ola. So this is not a technical role though, uh, this is a managerial post role, but the highest base salary is 43 LPA and CTC is something more than 50. I don't know the exact figure, but it's more than 50. So whatever news I'm getting that from other departments, the placement is still going a bit good, but CSA department, CDS department and AI department, the placement has hampered a lot. Now let's talk about what are the packages that is being offered to different students in ISC Bangalore. So I have only information about uh, CSA, CDS and AI department. So uh, as I already mentioned, the highest package that is offered to a, a girl from civil and a guy from biotechnology, the base was 43 LPA and CTC was more than 50. Now coming to the first round uh, in CSA or AI or CDS department, the companies which has vintage was Ola Electric, Cerebras, Observe AI and Qualcomm. So Ola Electric has offered 35 LPA as base and 37 LPA as CTC. Both Cerebras and Observe AI, they have offered 35 LPA as base. I am not sure about the uh, CTC salary, but base was 35 LPA. And Qualcomm has offered 19 as a base LPA and 42 as a CTC. So these are the companies where we did first round. And I think the criteria for first round was, as I said, that the salary has to be higher. And most of the companies with a beta in the first round, they have offered around 35 LPA as base salary. So I, I came to know about these four companies, but there might be some other companies uh, who is also offering around 30 to 35 LPA base. Now in second round, you know, as I, as I mentioned, the second round, which will be offering, you know, you know, lesser base salary, they will be called. Second round, the uh, base salary that is offered by different companies, it was approximately 18 LPA. And companies like Meso, MasterCard, they have visited the campus in the second round. And since then, you know, sequential round, as I mentioned, the sequential round has started. Uh, many companies are now, now coming up, but the, the base salary has dropped to 10 to 14 or 15 lakhs per annum. So nowadays, uh, whichever companies are beating the campus, they are offering around 10 or 14, around this range in the base salary. Now, what is the major concern about this placement scenario in ISC Bangalore? The first major concern is there is no big name or no big companies which are beated ISC Bangalore campus. So you will you haven't heard about the names like Microsoft, Flipkart, Adobe, 
IBM Research Lab, Microsoft Research Lab, LinkedIn, Google, Amazon, Mintra. So these are the big names of big product-based companies who typically recruits M.Tech students or B.Tech students from IITs and IIC Bangalore. But you know, this year, no one has visited IIC Bangalore campus. So that is a huge thing. I mean, I when I was there in IIC Bangalore, I used to see that Mintra is coming, Flipkart is coming, Amazon is coming. Microsoft has visited the campus so many times. They have taken so many students. IBM Research Lab was a very frequent traveler to ISC Bangalore during the placement session but nowadays uh, last, last year also I have seen there is there is not such big names and this year also I have seen no big companies has visited the campus. The only big names I have heard so far is Qualcomm and MasterCard. So this is a huge concern about placement in ISC Bangalore. The next thing is even the companies which is coming up most of them are startup companies they are also recruiting very small number of students. For example, MasterCard has taken only two students from ISC Bangalore, two or three students from ISC Bangalore. That means there is a huge supply of MTech students from ISC Bangalore, but the demand from the recruiter is very, very limited, very less. So that's why so many students are still left in ISC Bangalore to be placed. So that is second concern. And third is in AI or data science role, most of the companies who are visiting are startups. And even, you know, they are hiring a very limited number of students. So that's why what's happening is that students are now looking for software-based jobs or, you know, system-based job. But that is very sad because, you know, in ISC, people typically go because they will work on AI machine learning and they'll get data science related job, jobs. Because in IITs, we have seen that, you know, MTech students, even they go for software-based jobs, that, that's very common because in IITs, a lot of companies to come with a lot of software-based roles. So typically, people used to go for software-based role in IITs. But in ISC Bangalore, the main pitch or main you know kind of good thing was that you can you can have a lot of data science related role in ISC Bangalore and that I have also seen when I was doing my master's in ISC Bangalore I have seen that a lot of data science profiles are coming up from big names or from 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 even from startups but nowadays you know as big companies are not coming even the startups are coming they are taking very limited number of uh, students so students mtech students are kind of forced to go for the system related roles or software based role so these are the three major concern or takeaways i i found from this shocking update from isc bangalore regarding placement this year in 2024 now what is the problem in isc bangalore why this thing is happening regarding placement in ISC Bangalore this year. So there are major two uh, reasons that is coming up that I have came to know from the internal sources that by talking with different students. The number one is that ISC placement sale is not performing up to its mark. You know, ISC placement sale is not that good. And this is something I have also experienced during my time in ISC that ISC placement sale has not is not that powerful and they don't have that much of connection in the industry that they can bring someone in. If, if the company is not willing to come, they can't convince them and bring them in the campus to recruit. So what happened is that they announced that they are starting up this placement session, whichever company is coming, they are coming by their choices. So they have no power or no connection in different companies so that, you know, they can internally arrange someone to come in the in the placement session and recruit. And that's why I personally feel that these big companies are not coming because probably big companies are not willing to take students in mid of October. They may be waiting for this I you know placement session to be started and then they will take students and here you know isc placement sale is not able to or was not able to convince them to come to isc and 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 recruit students from isc uh, mtech pool of stu students so yeah that is i think the number one students and i somehow agree with it that isc placement sale is not that good and historically also if you see that compared to other iits isc has never been a good good uh, place for getting a big package job or something like that though though in the in 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 between some years they have done really well but overall if you see for last 15 years you will see iit bombay iit delhi even iit kharagpur has also done really great in terms of placement but somehow iic has lagged behind and it's high time i personally feel that iic should think about its placement sale and they should reform it so that you know this this kind of things don't repeat in the in in, in future and second point that people are or students are talking about internally is that the market is down and because of that big companies have frozen their recruitment and they are taking you know seniors in the AI role they are not willing to take freshers in the AI role. Uh, this is I am not fully agree with uh, and I think that when from the next week the IIT placement will be starting up then we can comment on this that whether the market is really down or not. 
So yeah, these are the two reasons uh, because of that this placement mess has happened in ISC Bangalore. So yeah, that's it about this video. That was the content of today's video. I hope this update about ISC Bangalore placement session this year will be helpful for all the students who are preparing for gate. And uh, this you should know about because once you crack the gate, you will have very limited time to decide about whether you go for ISC Bangalore or IITs. Uh, so I hope this information about the placement this year will be helpful for you. The placement for last year in ISC is also in my channel. I will be given the link in the description. You can go and check it out. And placement, says, placement statistics about other IITs like IIT Bombay, IIT Kharagpur, I'll be obviously making a video. I'll try to gather information even from IIT Madras and other IITs as well. Uh, so stay tuned to this channel. So a lot of placement statistics related video will be coming up in the next month. And before ending up this video, so please let me know if your comment about this video and if you have any query, let me know in the comment section. I'll try to answer them. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you are new to this particular channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly. That's it about this video. I'll be in this video. Until then, bye.